TMJ and occlusal disease, I'd say about 80% of TMJ it has to do with the dental arch. Um, other TMJ causes could be car accidents, a torn uh, joint, um, damage or disease in the meniscal disc. Uh, those are rarer, um, but most of it is the bite. And it manifests in many different ways from sinus pain to tinnitus or ringing in the ear, um, jaw pain, back pain, neck pain, all of this. Um, another interesting tidbit is Lyme patients who have cavitations, Lyme spirochetes just love the head and neck. And what happens is uh, they often get TMJ and they get stiff necks and, and, and all that stuff. So clicking or popping in the jaw joint is a sign of TMJ. Shoulders, back and neck pain, lack of mobility, stiffness, all related to TMJ. This is inflammatory. So the common symptoms like headache, jaw popping, pain and difficulty chewing, but then there is deep ear pain, sharp facial pain, dizziness, and again, neck and upper back muscle spasm and pain. So we look at occlusal disease. You know, are you breaking teeth? Are you clenching and grinding? Um, you know, are your teeth wearing and chipping all over the place? This is called occlusal disease. This is not normal. It's not like, oh, I have brittle teeth. It is um, teeth getting sensitive. Gum recession is often occlusal disease. The teeth are hitting like this and you get these clefts at the gum line. The bone at the gum line resorbs and the gums recede. Gums follow the bone. So gum recession, like severe gum recession, Gum line cavities can be a sign of occlusal disease. So um, the TMJ is also directly related to cervical and the scapular region. Um, and it's an interrelated uh, neuromuscular system. So changes in the cervical spine can cause TMJ disorders and TMJ, excuse me, TMJ disorders can cause um, changes in the cervical spine. It's a bi-directional thing. And it's something that everyone should look at. And there's lots of different things we can do, including making um, an occlusal stent. Um, but a lot of times having proper reconstructive dentistry with a proper bite. I find that many dentists don't understand occlusion. And I find we call it iatrogenic disease, but dentists actually mess up the bite. And I know there are people shaking their heads up and down. It's like, oh, I had a cap. It never felt right. And my whole bite is off. And, and, uh, and that's because they don't, they don't understand occlusion. And I, I spend a lot of time with the dental students and dentists that I teach to help them to understand the importance of a balanced occlusion, a balanced oral ecology, and a balanced approach in the treatment of the patient. And looking at the patient holistically with everything, uh, not just um, what's going on in the mouth. <music>